Today, I'm going to be showing you guys this brand new After Effects update where you guys can open and use 3D objects in After Effects without Element 3D or any other third party plugins. We're going to first start by going into the Adobe Creative Cloud. We can see all of the programs we have installed. We're going to go over to beta apps right here and we're going to find After Effects and we're going to install it. I already have it installed, so we're just going to open it here. It's going to open like the regular After Effects. It's just not going to have a cool image here. All right. And now once we have this open, we're just going to hit new project and boom, we are in. If you guys already have OBJ on your computer you can drag and drop them in just like normal the only issue is right now currently there is no way to apply textures to your models so you guys are going to have to go on websites like sketchfab and a bunch of other websites where you can download the 3d assets and find models that have the textures already applied to them i have a video of the top five websites to get 3d assets from i'll link a card for that right here and the description below i recommend you guys check out that video but we're quickly just going to hop on the sketchfab all right guys so we are on sketchfab right now we're going to start off by going to the explore page hit popular and let's see what they have to offer let's see this ak here now look at this crazy 3d model it looks super sick and high quality first we just need to check and see what kind of object it is we're gonna hit download 3d model and we have the glb converted format right here texture size it takes glbs if you guys do find glbs i recommend using those we're gonna hit download right here i'm just gonna save it onto our desktop for now once that's downloaded we're gonna go back into after effects here and we're gonna drag and drop that into our program boom and then into a composition and boom guys we're gonna transform here i highly recommend going and playing around with the orientation now look at that guys look at those textures those are absolutely insane it looks so high quality we're gonna go and scale out here for you guys that aren't really familiar with 3d this one here is gonna be the z space you're gonna be sending it forwards and backwards into the foreground and background this is going to be up and down and then left and right scale is going to be the size of your object so we're going to scale that down move to the background a little bit just like that and if you guys want to see multiple cameras we can see it from a front view a back view and then a top view now i'm going to be showing you guys how you can apply this and track it to your footage now i have this scene here from my cash dummy music video that i shot right click on it go to track and stabilize and then track the camera now just a few tips for tracking your camera here you're going to have the average error pulled up here i recommend expanding the advanced and we're just going to pay attention to this here now we can see the average error is under one so that means it's a really really good track so we're going to go ahead and create a camera so as you guys can see the ak is now tracked to the scene now going back over to it and opening up transform here we can scale it down move the position over move it up play with the orientation and boom we have something like that now you guys can even keyframe the orientation here have it go from that to something like and you guys can keyframe the position and boom guys we have our 3d object tracked to our scene you guys can do this for completely free if you have after effects i'm really excited to see how they update it going into the future because right now currently you cannot drag and drop effects onto it but it's just in the beta right now so hopefully they update it going into the future i think this is really cool and beneficial for people that don't have the money to spend on element 3d as it is very expensive but for the time being right now element 3d is superior based on the fact that you can bring models in add textures to the models play around with the models a lot more and then add effects from after effects onto the model where right now as this is in beta you can't do any of those things so i'm excited to see how they update this going into the future if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a like, and I highly recommend checking out one of these two videos here. You guys will learn a ton from them. Got a crazy tutorial on this side and another crazy tutorial on this side. Appreciate it. If you guys would go watch one of these, you got this. Just click one. Go crazy. Go bananas. Pow.